food so when you're dehydrated um, you don't have as much healthy relaxed muscle as when you have more water in your system right and um, we could tell because um, the lotion seems to disappear so easily to make up for the, the water imbalance in the tissues and cells so that's how I know I'm like hey your hydration level is is really poor well as a rule of thumb you know health professionals always recommend that um, healthy people um, should drink um, half of their body weight in ounces of water a day mm-hmm. so um, you you take your body weight in pounds uh, someone who weighs 180 pounds half of that would be um, 90 right mm-hmm. so you should probably be drinking 90 ounces of water a day and usually you don't want to drink 90 ounces of water a few hours to midnight mm-hmm. and they go you want to space it out you know the yeah, whole yeah. day you know and maybe two three hour shifts and you just take a, a little sip of that and that really helps maintain that overall hydration and when you're properly hydrated you think clearly it brings it brings clear, clarity to your to your to your to your mind and to your thinking and that also helps your productivity it also helps the muscle to be in its most effective form okay yeah so the muscles in its most effective form when you're hydrated and you drink water now it's interesting you said that because when i wasn't properly hydrated and didn't drink enough water my spasticity would really cramp up and i don't know if you remember or not but when you first started working on me i was all cramped up the spasticity was really hard but the more i drank uh water and you know, kept myself hydrated, mm-hmm. the spasticity loosened up. Yeah, it's not just the water drinking, but that really helped, like I said, you know. Um, and think about it, you know, um, you, you could tell, even with the living life around us, you could tell a plant that is dehydrated. Mm. You go to the shopping mall, you want to buy vegetables or carrots, you're seeing those micro sprayers, you know, spraying with some organic forms of food with, with you know, with water molecules. And you could tell the ones that they just live unattended to to dry air, mm-hmm. they're already chafing up, you know, they don't look at healthy and it's attractive, you know, and it's um, co- good to eat or consume like the ones that are properly hydrated. The ones properly hydrated fe- feel more plump, mm-hmm. you know, more supple and not has that bounce and smooth end feel. But the same thing with living tissues, you know, it's the same thing with the body. Um, but when you take appropriate amount of water, it it it, ma- it makes the body feel that supple, feel whole. It it has its its normal bounce and elasticity. Elasticity is the word I was looking for. Yeah, so it maintains the skin elasticity and also the muscle elasticity. And then, with that elasticity, the the tendency for the muscle to cramp. You know, under all that dehydration or additions, might be least, might be a little bit reduced. But much of the recovery you experienced was the, the body work we also had to ensue and how we incorporated some of the um, neuromuscular relaxation techniques and stretching to address the whole thing, not just the water drinking. Yes. Yeah. Everything working holistically together. Yeah. And the big takeaway with water drinking, it's you don't want to go past the limit I told you, like half of your body weight in ounces because you go past a particular limit, then the water is washing off the nutrients from the food or whatever you consume so you just want to keep it you know where it should be and uh, you should be really fine with that all right yeah all right barnabas okay nice having you all right like uh, like always thank you so much and uh, thank viewers for this beautiful session see you some other time